Okay, we are back with you. It's our understanding that Ted Cruz is in the house, and he will be coming out momentarily. And when he does, we, yet, really. we will go ahead and uh, talk with him. He'll probably give us a quick hello, and then he will be introduced by someone. Do we know who's introducing? I guess not. But so, uh, oh yes, former New Hampshire Speaker of the House Bill O'Brien will be uh, here to introduce Ted Cruz. As you know, um, he uh, Ted, uh, Ted has already been endorsed by Bill O'Brien, and I guess has been uh, going around the state with him today. So that will be a good thing to see Bill. We, it's always a good time to see Bill. So. And also today, we this is a Grandstar full crowd. We have obviously Steve is here. Hey. Rick is right behind me. Absolutely. And Mike is over there uh, taking pictures. We are at his abode. We also have new Grandstar Kim Gilbert here. Jane Cormier is here, and Don Ewing is here somewhere, 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 somewhere. So. Actually, if you went around to the front, it would be a whole lot easier, Rick. Rick, oh, go around to the front. Go around to the front. Yeah. Actually, right. Rick, take this one. Okay. So, anyways. And we're here. <laughs> you can use my table, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're a multi-dimensional, full-functional blog podcast. Yes, we do everything. We'll pick up what's up. We're working. See, now that we got it fixed, you're it's doing something. It's else. not working. Come on in, Jim. If you have to, do, go. if you have to do a thing, go do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are just announcing that we are live. We are recording. We are Granite Rock, New Hampshire's leading conservative libertarian blog site, and we come to you live whenever we can to all these kinds of events, depending on how well we're feeling, and hopefully not forgetting more equipment like I did this time. We have with us Jim Rhodes. Jim. Thanks for stopping by. How are you? I'm great. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. So, obviously, the most obvious question, let me label myself and title myself as Dr. Obvious here. Why are you here at a Ted Cruz event? You know, I'm here because I believe that Senator Cruz is a believer of freedom and liberty, as, as am I. And, you know, I'm very interested to hear what he has to say and what he can do for our country as president. Um, are you going around and listening to all of the candidates coming into state, or are you kind of saying, well, maybe Ted is my guy? Well, actually, I'm still going around making the rounds. I mean, there's so many candidates that are running in this particular race, it's hard to keep up on what everybody is talking about. So. Tell us about it. <laughs> it is not easy. It is a lot of work. Um, so the question is, on what issue do you find most attractive as far as Ted Cruz is, are, are they, is he close to you on the issues? A little bit of a gap, a whole big gap? Well, I can tell you this, the senator is certainly a heck of a lot closer than many of the other candidates in the field. So um, if you look at his stance on immigration, um, he is a fiscal conservative. Um, he, he tends to be a little bit more stronger on some of the uh, uh, national defense issues like myself. So these are all issues that are very favorable for me for this this particular candidate. Okay. Well, we've got Grackster, uh, Rick, and Steve here. Questions, guys? I uh, can't think of any right off the top. Are you enjoying the food? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> food. I think we're enjoying the food. Right? Yeah, food we're enjoying the food. Yes. And thanks to Michelle's, um, St Steve's lovely I think, I for think bringing it over. I think the best question is, are you thinking about running for anything again? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I always said that I was willing to do whatever it took to support the Republican Party in this state, so I'm going to continue to do that. So just get ready for a big announcement. How about that one? Okay, that's better. Right. That's much better. Thank and, you. And just, just remind me, Jim, what congressional district are you in? I'm in the second congressional district. Ah. ah. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. <laughs> That's cool. Well, Thank you. Bye -bye. Awesome. Okay, yes, sir. Hey, thanks, Jim. <laughs> All right, so you've, you've come down, Mr. Rick. I'm here for the food. <laughs> no, Indeed you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I figured I'd come over and, uh, you know, bring my wife to meet Ted Cruz, you know. And uh, we've hosted Ted Cruz out at the Londonderry Fishing Game Club back in April. Okay. So, uh... Um, you know, it was all it was. It was a lot of fun meeting Ted Cruz then. So, I thought it would be fun to come out and meet Ted Cruz again. You know? so. Well, yeah, it's not that far of a hop for you. No, that's that's half the point. If I didn't have to go to the North Country or anything, so ah, 
Well, good. I gotta be on camera. Yes, of I am. course. Of course. <laughs> so, um, what are you expecting to hear? Uh, what are you hear? Well, you know, I, you know, I'm listening to all the candidates. You know, I've been, like I said before, I've heard from Rand Paul once. I've heard from uh, Ted Cruz. Heard from Governor Jim Gilmore. Uh, heard from Chris Christie. And the themes right across the board seem to be about the same, you know, with, with new, nuanced differences based on the individual that you're talking about. But, you know, in my view, Ted Cruz is one of the stronger candidates in terms of fiscal responsibility, uh, national defense. Uh, one of the things that Chris Christie said that appeals to me is, he came right out and stated this administration is lawless. I'd like to hear more candidates say something like that along those lines, that we have a lawless administration. Be awesome. So Well, certainly, I think Chris Christie on this morning's Meet the Press said that. A yep. lawless administration called um, Hillary pretty much the same thing, especially yep. with regards to the email server fiasco that she's found herself in, completely self-immolating at this point. Yep. And it just seems to be, there's a lot of holes in a lot of the candidates. If you are not an establishment Republican, how many holes can you see in Ted Cruz? Yeah, yeah. You know, the, the thing that, the thing that I guess bothers me the most is as soon as all this stuff about the email servers uh, broke on the national news front, you know what my immediate thought was? Ah, oh, nothing's going to happen. Nobody's going to do anything. Everything we're hearing from the Congress and the Senate is nothing but bluster. She's going to walk away. She's going to run for president, win or lose, who knows. But nothing's going to happen. I was, I'm actually of that mind. I'm kind of less off of it now. Um, but then again, who knows? I mean, it's not over, right? Well, I think the payback for the establishment Republicans, and maybe you'll agree with this, uh, Steve and Mike, is that they got... Mike? Donald, uh, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steve, and, <laughs> Steve and Mike. I'll be both. Yes, okay. okay. Hand me go. a banana. S St Steve and Rick, is that the establishment Republicans are being uh, paid back with Donald Trump, and I think Hillary is being paid back with um, Bernie Sanders at this point. The, st the polls today that just came out show him coming within seven points of Hillary, the person who was supposed to be the anointed one. The presumptive nominee. Th that's correct. And the fact that she, he is that close to her, there has got to be um, a, more than a little angst. And Joe Biden, without announcing, without doing anything, this one was 14%. And it wasn't so hard. And he's never been that high. <clears throat> no. No. When he, we covered him as a candidate, he never got more than like a percent. <laughs> yeah, we interviewed him in 2008 when he uh, when he ran, and uh, yeah, that went absolutely nowhere. He's not exactly seen as you know a super duper candidate. But yeah. anyways, but now, Bill, Bill O'Brien is here, so Ted's here. Ah, Bill O'Brien, Mr. O'Brien, <coughs> Mr. Bill O'Brien, how are you today, sir? <coughs> Good to see you. Hey there, Bill. How are you? Came out of hey, Bill. How are you? Yeah, we see you a lot. I know that Pete just talked to you for an interview. Um, are you going over to see him now? Am I supposed to do an interview? I don't know. If not, pick up the headset. If not, pick up the headset. Okay. Yeah, unless you got something to do. <laughs> Pete, are we still in the interview? What? Are we still in the interview? Uh, there's plenty of it over there. There's enough As you can tell, there. folks, we're alive. Stuff happens. And people are um, you move your mic up a little bit there, sir. There we are. And that's just something I want to hear from you. <laughs> well, we have to do. If we didn't ask you to put the headset on, the answer would have been yes to that. But why don't you put the headset on? So yes, we want to talk to you. I thought we were so sorry that you boss want to put the headset on. We always ask you to put the headset on. Uh, every time. I almost, I almost called you this week to fill in this Saturday because I needed a guest. Bill's <laughs> always a good guest. I'll call Bill. Yeah. So how are you? I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. I'm a great day. I um, spent the day with Senator Cruz, and, and we've been out in Dover, we've been out in uh, Seabrook, we've been in Boston, we've been traveling around, the crowds have been great, you know, there's a great crowd here tonight, a surprisingly large crowd, just came from New Boston, and I think there's around 500 people, you know, it's, it's 500? Yeah, so, you know, that's about 10% of the population of New Boston, actually, I know, because I represent the town. <laughs> <laughs> How 
has he received? Well, he received very well. It was, it was really kind of a rally. A lot of, a lot of uh, understanding of what he's saying and cheering and, and all that. It was, it was a great event. It really was. Oh, good. So what kind of topics did he hit? Well, I think he's hitting the topics that really concern all of us. Certainly, um, the what's going on in the Middle East, uh, the uh, Iranian uh, deal that Obama put together. People are very concerned about that. They're concerned generally with a foreign policy that is surrendering American exceptionalism. People understand that. They're concerned about a White House who doesn't understand American traditions and the and the value of America in the world. He, he's uh, very concerned with with uh, fiscal issues, and I think people, when we, when we talked about it, when people are asking questions afterwards, they want to know, what are you going to do to stop uh, taking away the, the future of our children? And so people asked about that, and I think I, uh, folks are looking for someone who not only understands the problem, but will fight for solutions, and that is what Senator Cruz will do. He has shown us that. Yeah. We were just talking a couple minutes ago about the word lawless. It certainly came up in the Talking Head shows this morning. And, uh, well, I'm here to ask the Senator Cruz. So I'm going to interrupt because people are going to listen to us always. I want to look, talk to the Senator. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Clock team.